dating dating allows you to figure out what you like figure out who you are in the process and it, i feel like it makes you possibly appreciate the person that you're supposed to be with more because you're like wow like i finally found you like we found each other like god led me to you yeah uh i'm both i, I mean i can agree with both both ways uh I don't think you personally have to date like many people because I mean for one if I do a girl just I don't date with this guy one week this guy next week or even month 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 I mean it's 12 months in a year you can go on go out with 12 different guys and it's kind of maybe it's not wrong I ain't saying it's wrong but I'm saying you can God go on dates all the time you can do better um, God, go, <laughs> I, used to go to, I used to go to a church where we actually had encouragement dates. I'm not gonna say what church that is. Encouragement dates. I don't. I don't. I don't even know what encouragement dates looks like. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind. We, encouragement. Let's date. not even talk uh, about. Maybe I need but, to some. But I'm just saying, some <laughs> guys. I feel. I feel like you can go on as many dates as you want, especially if it's kingdom dating. Then what, why not? Because you're not doing all the extra stuff the is, world does. What is kingdom dating like? I say kingdom dating is when you are literally someone's attracted to you, you're attracted to them, and you guys probably just start dating, but you guys are not so physical in your relationship. Like it's different than dating when you just don't really have any parameters for your relationship when it comes. Yeah, but how are you? I'm saying like. Okay, let's say you're kingdom dating with this person and then someone else comes around. How do you transition from kingdom dating to dropping this person off and kingdom dating the next person? Or are you kingdom like, dating dang, at the same time? It didn't work out. Sorry. You know, I mean, God is telling me to break up with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what they do. That's what some people do. No, you just tell them. You just, I, don't, I don't know what that looks like because I haven't experienced that. But I'm just saying, like, okay, everything has boundaries. So I don't think you should date everybody in America that's a Christian. No. I think you should have at least your own set of limitations. Like, okay, I'm, there are some steps for you to even get to the level to date me. But I don't think, I still don't think there's anything wrong with dating multiple people. At the same time? No, not at the same time. I hope it, it doesn't sound like that. It doesn't sound like I'm saying it at the same time. No, I'm saying I don't think it's I don't think it's bad to date multiple people. Like, let's say someone dated three people this year. Well, dang, That's, this year just started. It's just January. <laughs> but nah, I mean, I get you in the past year they did. That's not bad. I mean, one person a quarter. I mean, it. Honestly, Matter of fact, honestly, just, it's, not, it's not really a time limit. I, I can't say even even one month dating someone, trying to get to know someone, and then it don't work, then you date another. I mean, it's really not, you know, I don't think it's bad per se. It's like, I mean, you mean you've been dating all these people and you still can't yeah. get it right? It's kind of like, okay. man, what's wrong with you? Okay, <laughs> I see what you mean because you're just not going to date somebody just because they're saying, oh, let's date. You know, I think... Like, what are the steps to dating, then? Well, I mean... I mean, you have to spend time with the person, see if you like them, see if you guys have chem chemistry connection, and you're like, you know, dang, like, I feel like we really like each other. Let's be together. Right? Yeah, I mean, I think to even get to dating is, like, a, a process. Like, you you got to have a couple phone conversations. Or, I mean, or, or already know, know, know this person from, like, small group or something, or, like, have a feeling of this person already, um... You just don't like take somebody on. It's like some of these conversations could be done on the phone to know if y'all on the same page before you even go out. Hold on, but what did you say? You said the first, whenever you start dating, the first three months, a man knows. Yeah, I would know. I would know. I ain't gonna say a man. I feel I would know in three months if we should move forward in this. Or not, I mean, personally, I think I know in a month because I'm, I'm very. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm so you'll be the one dating I'm, every five seconds. No, I don't. No, no that's that's why I, <laughs> I don't. I'm not an impulsive dater at all. Like I do not shoot my shot at. Man, I rarely shoot my shot. Let's just say that I'm very specific when I do. It's, it's rare. Very so, selective. Yeah, it's like because it's it's. 
the men in the ch it's it's I don't know man it's like it's a high standard like I I don't want the perception of you like he's dating everybody like he just True. that's really what it is it's like I'm not you know I'm attracted to a lot of people but it's like you here for I the don't want you here for God or you right you know I don't want the perception to be bad like he just talking to this person this person this person like so you don't want to be a kingdom huh no, <laughs> don't want to be that. <laughs> no, exactly. I don't want to get on the, the blacklist at the church. Why is purity important for the Christian single? Or just for Christians in general? And purity, that encompasses any type of intimacy. But this could be a, a general question for worldly people as well. Worldly relationships as well. But um, purity, um, it's... it's it's simple. It, it messes up the um, emotions. Like um, you can get attached to someone sexually or physically, and um, now you 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 kind of like all in love um, quick, and you skip over some stuff. Like you ignore some of the red flags. Like it gets in the way of your discernment, and um, you know, and you feel since y'all became you know intimate or you know physical or whatever that you know like we'll get past this like and so you just start ignoring stuff and you know it make it make a lot of relationships last longer than they should like without sex i think without sex or money many relationships won't last at all you take away sex you take away the financial you know blessing someone may be receiving from a person and they have nothing in common they don't even like each other they two people that may be attracted to each other and that's it they probably have nothing coming they probably can't hold the conversation i mean and you know if he if the person couldn't afford the dates they probably couldn't think about anything free to do or anything to you know to make the relationship work to build on i mean so you know that's kind of a couple reasons why period is important i think um like he says it it does cross over to people who aren't Christians as well, so I think this should be important for everybody. But it, purity really instills discipline and self-control because if you can be okay with being by yourself and be okay with just getting to know people just because you really want to know them, then that also instills trust too. Like, so if I know that I'm talking to someone and we are really, I mean, we're human, we're gonna like each other, we're gonna be attracted to each other, but we know, okay, we're gonna set these boundaries and we're not gonna cross them. I can trust you to be around other people. I mean, some people may not say that because they've probably been hurt so many times, but I, I truly believe, believe that because I've had that. And I know that that's real. Definitely discipline. That, um... Um, being um, per or you know celibate or abstinent, um, that can show true colors of the other person. Like true colors really come out because a lot of people would say a lot of women, and also you know I probably you probably know a lot of men that say you know they want to be celibate or abstinent with you, you know, on your walk with Christ. But it comes down to it like. They not really down for the ride. They just thought that they can, you know, get in and then, you know, then, okay, maybe you'll be comfortable with it now. It's like, no. Like, true colors will show eventually. All darkness will come to the light. So it's like, it will show you the um, true attention behind it. And it will rock faulty foundations. So, just like he said, if you are um, continuing in if you are in a very intimate relationship and you guys really have tough issues, that intimacy is going to mask that. And But when you are in a relationship where you don't have that, you're building a solid foundation for whenever you guys do have issues, you know how to really talk it through or try to get to the bottom of it instead of just going straight to cuddling and going straight to try to make them feel good physically instead of really trying to understand what's going on with them mentally. To ever get lonely being a Christian? <laughs> I'll answer. <laughs> well, um, God is always with me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was a lonely answer. No. <laughs> I know it does get lonely. I think it gets lonely whether you're a Christian or not though. Um, especially because we're not, I don't think we're ever meant to be alone um, actually. So that's why for me, it's important to stay connected to your small group community. And if you don't have that accountability partners that you've grown through your Christian walk, but it can get lonely, but you do have to remind yourself that you are not alone. You really aren't. Even when you're by yourself, God still says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. He's still with you and the Holy Spirit is with you. So, and I truly believe that. But physically, yeah, it gets lonely because it's like, dang, it would be nice if I could just go out with my boo, if he, you know, if he could just stop being lost right now. But... Oh nah, go out with the Holy Spirit. You say you good. You not. You got. The I go Holy out with my yeah. friends. <laughs> I'm going out with my friends. That's one of the things that I kind of want to do this year. I want to go out to eat by myself at a restaurant. No. <laughs> Take my oxtails to go and bring them back to the I, home. I and want enjoy. to. I've never done that. Um, I really want to. That's extra. I go to the movies by myself. That's real lonely too. Like I don't. Go to the movies, but going to the movies is dark. Nobody can see, and you just really—it's like you watching TV. Yeah, you probably in the back corner. And all. <laughs> They're like, Man, look at this weirdo back. Mm -mm. She's doing it in the back. <laughs> uh, she probably that one in the front. But <laughs> but um, nah, I don't. That's that's lonely stuff to me. But um, yeah, it's very lonely. This is this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's always lonely <laughs> it's just very lonely <laughs> I don't got nothing to say but you make it sound so sad are you sad it's lonely it's lonely I've been walking walking this walk with nobody by myself but no um it have its moments. <laughs> it have its moments, and um, you know, uh, I don't like it. it. it no, <laughs> it do, okay. It does get lonely. It does, and but it could be. But it's the same thing if you're single. If you um, well, if you don't have, if you, if you're not a Christian, you could get lonely too. But the difference is, we are deciding to trust God because we want something that's more lasting we want where our thought process is on eternity we're not so worried about the now so it's kind of like delayed gratification and even when you are in a relationship you there are some people that are in relationships that feel lonely i would rather be by myself and feel lonely than be in a relationship um and be lonely and feel lonely because that's just showing how much more alone you are but you know i just i'd rather I think I'm good. Yeah, it's Until definitely. Become. Yeah, it's, it's it's definitely worth the wait though. Like she said, is people in relationships, people in marriages that feel lonely. Marriages about, with kids that of, feel lonely. Exactly. Think about being married, but you you know, you're lonely. Y'all on the same couch, but you know, y'all not even connected. Don't even talk. <laughs> it like that makes me sad. That's one of my fears. Like God, no. That's why I want to build a solid relationship with my man before. Yeah, it's it's definitely before worth the wait. I mean, this I just think of it all. You know, this whole singleness thing is it's temporary. So, you know, after when that person comes, I mean, it'll be worth the wait, and you you will know it. And how do you manage temptation while being single? Run, right? You uh, better flee, go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you literally like. You just gotta go. Like I, like I honestly don't even have like a long answer for this. You really just have to. Accountability partners. That's what helps me. I call my friends. I'm like, yo. This is what's going on. Like I, I. Li but the thing is, you have to pray to God for these accountability partners. You have to pray because your accountability partners should be people that are living life with you. They're people that are 
like your friends and they become close friends to you that you can trust them with that information because it doesn't sound it doesn't make sense on the other side if you're not a christian it doesn't make sense it's like you're just telling people what's going on with you but no it's like yo this is i, I talked to him and you know just saying like i call my friend i tell them that and they know that if they watch it right now they probably like bless you calm down but no like I have to, and that's what helps me leave temptation. I manage temptation by trying to uh, fill that void of emptiness with things of like God or things of, you know, that help me grow um, with with this person or spiritually. Like, um, you know, I try to filter out things that uh, leave me um, lingering with temptation. Or like, if we get in too close. Uh, you know, we form boundaries we, uh, with each other um, and kind of let each other know that, you know, maybe this this is a weakness for me. Maybe we need to chill on the cuddling or maybe, you know, this, this and that. Um, so definitely boundaries, accountability, and really, you know, kind of stand in your word. I mean, because the Holy Spirit will convict you anyway. So, you know, you want to, you know, just kind of stay career the best you can and um the thing is about accountability partners is that when you have that right account when you have the best accountability partners they will never let me not say never they with the help of the holy spirit they're not going to make you feel guilty about like if you do slip and fall or go back into your old ways or whatever they will be there for you and pray pray with you. Um, they'll try to understand where what happened, what what went wrong, what did they do um, to not really be on top of you about certain things or like you know like a true accountability partner really cares about your relationship with God and they care about you. They don't just care about what you look like on the outside at church. They really care about you spiritually and they will try to be with be there for you in those times. Well, okay, so this is the last the last note but so in the meantime what do you do while being single like what's your thought process in the meantime um <clears throat> my thought process is um really i want to work on myself um i always thought about like my previous relationships and you know and i always think about could i have done better like um could i have done something that made the relationship better could i have been a better leader or you know did this better so my my new way of thinking is more like um i don't want to say i won't i don't want to have to say i could have did anything better granted i know i'm not perfect but in that moment i want to make the right decision i mean that i feel is right and not regret it not regret it later i want to say the right things i want to do the right things um like you know the best thing i don't want to go off my emotions do things in anger you know i want to um i want to i want to give it my best shot you know and um i don't want if it don't work i can feel confident that like okay maybe this person wasn't for me because i mean i did every, i did my best you know so i know i wasn't perfect i know i could have did things better but in that moment i did the best i knew how or the best you know i thought about it and i chose this decision to do in that moment and that was that but um another tip i want to say is like don't don't date people's potential like don't date potential like if a person let's say you got a couple things on your list that um like it's a must let's say they have let's say two out of three things or four out of five things let's say four out of five and they missing that one thing. Wait, I mean, don't get in a relationship. I'm saying don't get in a relationship. You could continue to date them, but do not get in a relationship if they don't improve in this area. You should be trying to help them improve in this area. And um, and then if if that change and now your list is complete, you could try to start this relationship. But don't date potential. Some people don't want to change in the areas you want them to change in. So you know but some people they impatient they like to settle for less and you know that one thing on their list that they know is like foundational they're like 
they'll they'll just say like, okay, don't worry about it. He got the other things or she got the other things and go into a relationship and now <laughs> it's messed up. The list thing is interesting because I was actually talking to this older woman. Um, she's actually amazing. I love talking to her. She's married too. And she talked about how before she met her husband, she wrote down like a list and she used to pray over it. And like, let's say four or five years later, I believe after she wrote down that list, she met her husband, but she didn't know yet. Um, and she just fell in love with this man. And she was like, oh my God, like this is the man God sent me. And after they got married, she said she found that book where she wrote the list. Everything was on that list. Everything, like even down to the height. I was like, God, you know, I'm about to, let me go ahead and make this list. But yes, yeah, so I definitely believe that. And I believe to make the list, but also, you know, of course, pray on the list and um, don't put superficial stuff on the get list. Your heart but check now. Come on. Now. Yeah, like, you have to get your heart checked when you're making the list. I'm but. a billionaire. <laughs> Model. I don't want a model though. <laughs> well, oh, you might want a model. What do you wear? Like, <laughs> but about? for me, in the meantime, <laughs> I really definitely want to strengthen my relationship with God, especially on um, the trajectory on where my life is going right now, um, because I want to help other people build their relationship with God in the future, um, and I really want to be with somebody that has that desire as well. But. I definitely want to learn, I want to do better with loving and be, be better, do better with being a friend, um, being a good friend, because sometimes I feel like I'm not that great of a friend, like I don't, I don't know, I have my doubts about myself, but people say otherwise, but I, I want to be a better friend because whenever I do get a relationship, that's going to be my friend and I want to be able to show them um, that love that the Bible talks about. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I guess many, I, well, I made up the questions, so question and answer between male perspective, female perspective in the kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad. Thank you, Derek, for being here and recording this video. No problem, no problem. With your perspective, I'm sure a lot of people out there appreciate it and it's probably entertaining. Hopefully we're entertaining for you and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.